Well, you're going to get swelling for three reasons. One is if you injured something. So the most basic example of that is you stepped off a curb, you twisted your ankle, you're going to get some swelling related to that. The second would be irritation. Well, irritation to a muscle, let's say you're out in the garden, you're pulling a lot of weeds, your back muscles, your leg muscles, they're irritated, they're, they have the potential to be swollen. And the third type of swelling would really come from something that is the result of some abnormal stress. In the case of muscles and bones and ligaments and things that we're talking about this in context of, abnormal stress would be I painted the, a room at my house. And so my shoulder, my elbow, my arm, they're all gonna be sore and that soreness and stuff is coming from swelling. So here's a good question for you, true or false? is all swelling observable? Well, I think the natural inkling on that answer is that it's true because we think of swelling as being I twisted my ankle or I've got this puffiness in my elbow, etc., and I can only see swelling. Well, the answer to the question is actually that it's false. Most times you have swelling, you actually cannot see it. So yes, you can see it on that ankle or that finger that got you know, jammed or whatever, you can see that swelling. But most of the time when there's swelling, you're not actually seeing it. It's swelling that's occurring inside of the tissue itself. Well, what is swelling then? It's really a collection of fluid that collects in a specific area. So for starters, you have fluid that's traveling all throughout your body. It's that immediate first aid system of your body. When you have an injury or an irritation or there's abnormal stress in an area, what the body does is it floods a good portion of that fluid to that area. So it takes it out of the bloodstream and it loads it into the muscle, the joint, the tissue, whatever it is that's, that's irritated, that's injured, that's, um, that's been overworked. It's bringing in some nutrients to kind of lock up the area and help it to be tighter. It's, it's thickening up the tissue to protect it from, from further injury so an ankle sprain doesn't become a broken bone or it doesn't become a tear of a tissue, etc. So it's thickening up that tissue. And then it's beginning to bring a couple of nutrients to the area on a quick dose, almost like a, almost like a, a clotting mechanism, to get that area to start its healing process. So that is really what we would term to be good swelling. So anytime there is overuse or irritation or an injury, we would expect to see whether it's outward signs or inward signs of inflammation. The signs of inflammation and swelling would be that there's pain and soreness in that area, that there's stiffness in that area, that, that you may actually even see a little bit of that swelling. Those are all some good things and they're, they're appropriate with swelling because again, you're trying to lock that area up, make it a little bit stiffer so that you don't continue to use it or overuse it. Where swelling comes in and becomes a problem is that it stays there. So basically the general rule of thumb is that swelling should be there, again, whether it's visible or not, swelling should be there for about 12 to 24 hours after there was an injury or an irritation to tissue or, or basically just an overuse or an ab abnormal stress on that tissue. And so when that swelling comes in and it stays for more than about 12 to 24 hours, that's when it really begins to be a problem because now it's not that emergency first aid kit anymore. Your body needs a lot more to happen at that point. It needs blood flow to the area. It needs the area to be looser. It needs the area to regain strength. And the problem with swelling is that if it doesn't go away, your pain will stay and may actually get worse. Your joint stiffness or muscle stiffness and soreness will stay and may actually get worse. The problem is that it's restricting blood flow to that area, which is what really is gonna bring the real nutrients that your body needs to heal, the oxygen that it needs, and the ability to make sure that not only does it heal this time, but it heals completely so that it reduces the likelihood that this problem is gonna occur again. So what do you need to do if you've had swelling that, that you can actually see, or if you've had pain, stiffness, soreness that didn't go away in an after a 24 hour period, or that it's getting worse inside of that 12 or 24 hour period. You really need to get a, a good evaluation, a good assessment of what's happening in that area. And that's really where an expert physical therapist comes in here at Loudon Sports Therapy Center and figure out what is causing the, the symptoms that you're having. How is the swelling responding? What is, what's the cause of the swelling itself? And what needs to be done to get that under control? Because once we do that, then we can really help to give you a good plan of action on how to not only get rid of the swelling, again, whether it's visible or not, but to decrease your pain, get things under control, and get you back to being able to live life and do the things that you want to do.